In this picture, we're looking at a whole bunch of lymph nodes that has been stuck to each other. When lymph nodes stick to each other clinically, they are known as matted. So we would be able to palpate them if they were in a superficial site and they would feel like a firm mass of nodes. Now let's take a closer look at the gross appearance and we can see that uh, even within this nodal mass there are some areas that show a different colour like here that I'm outlining as well as here and here. They are paler and not only that, there seem to be some areas of uh, cavitation even showing that this area of tissue is very friable. This is the gross appearance of caseous necrosis. And this is one of the key features of tuberculous infection. So therefore, the diagnosis in this case is tuberculous lymph adenitis. Now, how do we confirm that this is indeed tuberculous lymph adenitis clinically? Well, of course, it's important to take a clinical history of symptoms such as fever, night sweats, loss of weight, past history of TB. But also, um, it would be very important to sample the tissue to send for pathology examination under the microscope as well as microbiologic examination. So what will the pathologist see? One of the most classical things that we will see is this whole collection of plump cells which are called epithelioid histiocytes and therefore these are granulomas and if you're observant you'll actually see a little pinkish area here and this is caseous necrosis. So in other words, we are looking at necrotizing granulomatous lymph adenitis. We also mentioned that uh, material can be sent to the microbiology lab both for culture as well as examination for acid fast bacilli and not only that, in the pathology lab we can also examine uh, for acid fast bacilli using the zeal nielsen stain. Now one of the most important differential diagnoses for TB is uh, malignant lymph adenopathy. So let's take a look at another case here and here again we see uh, an, a, a mass of enlarged lymph nodes that are matted but in addition we also see these pale geographic areas in the cut surface you can see them here these also represent necrosis but unlike what we saw grossly they are not appearing the same as caseous necrosis the necrotic areas are not as friable so this is a case of malignant lymphoma which can have a significant clinical overlap as well as even gross pathology overlap with TB. So again, how do we make the diagnosis? This is down to tissue biopsy as well with examination under the microscope. And what will we see? We will actually see a loss of lymph node architecture with sheets of abnormal lymphocytes. And this happens to be a case of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So here we have looked at some of the similarities in terms of gross appearance and even clinical similarities between tuberculous lymph adenitis as well as lymphoma. And we learned that in order to make a definite diagnosis, a tissue biopsy as well as microbiologic tests are very important.